Some very interesting news in the UFO world. Let's put this up there on the screen. It's a story broken by George Knapp of longtime UFO fame. He says, quote, FBI agents, FBI agents came down hard on the operator of a popular website, it's dreamlandresort.com, devoted to all things Area 51. More than a dozen agents served a no-knock warrant on the Rachel Nevada home of Joerg Arno, who is the owner of that website. Quote, they seized all computers, files, phones, and photos. At the same time, another team of a dozen or more agents stormed into his Las Vegas home, seized all digital devices and files, held his girlfriend at gunpoint. Jesus. The warrants were served a week ago, and he's noted on his website that he does not know the reason for the raid or whether specific images of a, speci a secret base posted online may have invigor initiated such a vigorous action by federal law enforcement. Now look, He's the one claiming that about his girlfriend being held at the gunpoint, all that. I have no reason to doubt it. I'm just saying, like, you know, sometimes people exaggerate. But it does appear to say that there were, quote, at least 15 to 20 agents, quote, rummaging through our homes and about eight different vehicles. He says, I will spare you the details, but it was tense and for humiliating for me and my girlfriend in Vegas. He talks about all of his materials received, f seized both at uh, one home, his Vegas home. He says, they only broke the front door and tore down the blinds. They stole his medical data, financial tax records, passwords. He says, quote, to the best of my knowledge, I have not broken the law. So this is going to be the real test, which is that uh, this could actually be analogous, Crystal, to the journalism questions that came ar that arose with Julian Assange. Because, look, I mean, you can say whether or not he's a publisher or a journalist when he runs a UFO-dedicated website. I would say yes, under an expansive definition. And if he got images that were leaked to him by insiders, it's like, well, you can't seize from him, right. his, you know, any classified information. Right. You should prosecute the person who, I mean, I don't even think you should prosecute, but I'm saying if you have any ground to stand on, it's to go after the people who leaked said classified information. But regardless, not a lot of people are paying attention to this. And this is an extraordinary breach. You know, it has major impacts. Uh, it has major questions on like press freedom, privacy, classified info. And then of course it's like, Look, I mean, you tell me, I don't think you go crashing into somebody's house unless they got something good. True. Yeah. yeah. True. I mean, yeah. listen, we should be clear. This is yeah. just based on what yeah. his, this is his what account he says. of events. Yeah. We haven't had any independent right. press confirmation. But what he's saying is the search warrants are not very specific, but aerial photos of Area 51 and other installations came up repeatedly. So we actually took those down from the website, he said, right. for now to diffuse the situation. So at least in his analysis, based on the information that he has of, you know, and, and his accounting of what transpired here, it seems to have to do with some of the material that he had published to the website that they right. apparently did not want to be in his possession or published to a public website. Yeah, I look, I don't know. Makes what's me want to go on. look at those pictures. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> all I want to know. I'm like, show me the photos. Hey, this could be a Streisand thing uh, about how it all looks. That's As true for the photos too. itself, uh, I haven't yet seen them. Uh, I, I mean, I just don't yet believe that you would go crashing into somebody's house and seize all their stuff. No, not just Warren for and photos of area. I mean, people with drone cams have been posting that stuff for a long time. He must have. He, he poked the bear uh, in some very interesting way. Anyway, wanted to cover it because it could be potentially explosive. Especially, the, by the way, the DOJ has offered no comment, no confirmation, all that, which I would say, you know, is actually in any way almost- No denial, they, yeah. No denial that the raid took place. So that's important as to what exactly that means. And no like update as to what investigation that it's connected to in any way. We're gonna continue to watch this one very closely. We'll see you guys later. Hey guys, ready or not, 2024 is fully upon us now. And Sagar and I have been brainstorming ways that we can really up our game for this critical election. Yeah, we rely on our premium subs to expand our coverage, to add staff, to upgrade the studio. We just wanna give you the best independent coverage of this election, which is possible. So if you can help us out, become a premium subscriber today, breakingpoints.com, or the link is down here in the description video. It really means the world to us. And if you like what we're all about, this is the best possible way to keep us 100% independent, working only for you.